hi everyone welcome back to my channel again as I promised I'm going to explain all the tutorials from Plexus 3D manual v20 in the first example I explained uh, the foundation in over consolidated clay uh, case a which was a rigid foundation and in this lesson I'm going to explain case B which is raft foundation in this case the material of the soil is the same as in case A except that it is taken into account that the stiffness of the soil increases with depth. Also in this case the model is modified so that it contains structural elements such as rough foundation, basement walls, basement beams and columns. In this case the rough foundation is 50 cm thick and stiffened by concrete beams and the basement walls are 30 cm thick concrete also the loads from uh, the superstructure is transferred to the uh, raft foundation by uh, columns and basement walls as you see I already prepared a uh, two-dimensional plan for this uh, tutorials the soil geometry is the same as before which is 150 meters by 150 meter and also the foundation plan is the same but in this case we have the rough foundation also the rough foundation is stiffened by basement beams like that and uh, also around the foundation we have the basement walls also we have four columns as you see distributed like that in the mud foundation just as uh, before due to the symmetry in this uh, tutorial we are not going to make the whole model so we are just going to make one quarter we are just going to make one quarter of the example so like that we are just going to make this part from the example okay now I open the plexus open an existing project I'm going to open the tutorial one case a I'm going to save uh, this example in a different name I go to file save project as case B okay so I go to the soil stage I go to the material so we do we don't want this material I'm going to delete it and I will uh, change the clay material the parameters are the same as in the case A we are just going to change the elasticity of the soil we are, we are going to change to 5000 and uh, the stiffness is increasing by 500 per meter okay okay so after that I go to structure stage select this volume element right click and decompose into surfaces so I delete this one and this and like that so this surface are going to be the basement walls and uh, this one is going to be a raft foundation going to make it a plane so I select the surface and right click to play and this one also right click create a plate so materials for structural element for basement floor and basement wall I took these materials from Plexus manual so we are going to define this material for raft foundation and for basement wall 
I go to material plates new material first one for raft foundation the thickness of the raft is 0.5 meter the unit weight is 15 kilonewton per cubic meter and the elasticity is 3 times 10 to power 7 and the poison ratio is 0.15 ok so I assign this material to the raft foundation ok now I define another material for basement walls the thickness of the wall is 0.3 meter and the unit weight is 15.5 elasticity is 3 e to power 7 and prison ratio is 0 0.15 I can change the color to a different color so I assign this material to the basement wall ok we finished uh, defining the raft foundation and basement walls also we finished the material now we are going to model basement beam we have two basement beam and also we have one column we are going to make uh, these structural elements I go to create line create beam so I press shift and come down until minus 2 so as I see in here the coordinates of this basement beam is uh, 6 0 and 6 by 18 so 6 0 and 6 by 18 and the coordinates of this beam is 0, 6 and 18, 6. Again I go to create line, beam, like that. Ok. Now I'm going to model a column as I see in here the column is located uh, in the intersection of the basement beam so I go to create line create beam 6 by 6 by minus 2 I click and press shift go up 0 click OK now I model the basement beams and basement column so now I'm going to make a materials for these structural elements go to material and beams new basement column so basement column Young's modulus is 3 times 10 to power 7 unit weight is 24 area is 
moment of inertia about I2 axis is 0.02 and about I3 axis 0.02 it is the same okay and I assign this material to the column okay also another new material for basement beams elasticity is 3 10 to power 7 the unit weight is 6 area is 0 0.7 the moment of inertia is 0 0.029 about i2 axis 0 0.029 and about i3 is 0 0.058 okay so i can use a different color for basement beams Okay, I assign the material to the basement beam. Okay, okay. So we finished uh, the structural element and structural materials. Now I have to define the loads for basement walls, basement column and raft foundation. As I see in here, we have a line load on the basement wall, which is 385 kN per meter. So, in plexus, I go to create load, line load, like that. And the line load is 385 okay and line load 2 okay also I have a point load on the column which is 11,650 kN. First I create a point load like that and I give the amount of the load which is minus 11,650 kN. Also, we have a distributed load on the raft foundation, which is 5.3 kN per meter square. I select the raft foundation, right click, create, create surface load. In the model explorer, I give the amount of the load, which is minus 5.3 kN per square meter okay now i finished defining the structural elements and structural loads so now it's time to go to mesh stage create generate mesh we use the coarse mesh okay So now everything is finished, we go to staged construction. So this phase is from uh, the first example, so I delete it. I go to edit phase. So in this example, except the initial phase, we are going to make uh, three phases in the first phase 
we activate the walls and deactivate the excavation. In the phase two, we activate the raft foundation and basement beams. In the phase three, we activate all loads. So add a new phase, type walls and excavation. Add new phase. We type raft foundation. and beams in the last phase we types loading okay so in the first phase we deactivate the excavation and activate and activate the basement walls as I see here the basement walls are activated so in the next stage we activate the raft foundation and basement beams and the column. In the last phase, we activate all the loads, point loads, line loads, and surface loads. So now everything is finished. Our example is ready to calculate. I click calculate ignore feedback and calculate so the calculation is finished and we don't have any could error or mistake in our example everything is all right so i go to view calculation result so if i want to see the displacement in the foundation or settlement i go to deformation total displacement in the Z direction okay so if I want to take a section vertical cross section as we know in below the column we will get the maximum settlement so I will take the section in this direction As I see in here, the maximum settlement is 110 millimeter in the Z direction. To move the cross section, I can click on the control button and minus or plus, like that. Okay, if I want uh, to see the forces in the structural element, I go to window and uh, close this window. So I double click on the raft foundation. And go to forces. Moment about one direction. 
so as I see the maximum moment is observed uh, in the intersection of the basement beams and under the column which is 1300 kilonewton meter per meter so this example is finished and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching